Today, we are going to be reviewing Codacy. Codacy does your code analysis automatically for you. Now, I use Codacy and really, it's an awesome tool. There are a lot of benefits and I'm going to mention a few. Codacy is actually quite impressive and it helps you make your code better and gives it more quality by suggesting useful tips to you. So first, Godacy identifies new issues early in the process. Now for you to use Codacy, you add a project from your, mostly you use GitHub, so you could add it from your GitHub. And once you add it, it reviews your code and suggests what you should do to make it better. Now, if you see an issue early in the project, that helps you to prevent your product from being affected later in the project. Now, this integration is seamless and very easy. We will do a short demo for you to see how it goes. Now, once your code is reviewed, you will get a visible visual feedback, a graph showing how many issues there are, code complexity, and similar metrics. You can make sure that your code quality is standardized across all teams by applying code patterns. You also get notified with new issues when new issues arrive or arise. <laughs> Now, you could observe vulnerabilities and prevent critical issues. Now, this is very important because sometimes we code and we leave up some loopholes which will cause very serious issues. These are just few benefits. You could see a lot more on their site. Now, for the pricing. I have four here. For open source projects, they are free. Free for all open source projects. Now, if you're a startup, you actually don't pay anything if you just have four users. So, for teams, there are four users. You pay nothing and you get everything in the pro plan. Now, if you're a team of five or more and you want to use the pro plan, you pay $15 per month. You get many benefits by using the pro plan. You can see more of that on the site. Now, perhaps you want a custom plan. You can contact Codacy to give you a custom plan that will be tailored to your business. So now let's look at Codacy and see how it works. So to use Codacy, you go to Codacy.com. You can read a lot about Codacy here. As you can see, up to 28 supported languages. Speed up your productivity, seamless integration, and lots more. Once we check the pricing, like I said earlier, for startups, zero dollars, pro, fifteen dollars, and then if you need a custom plan, you can request a demo. So here is my dashboard. Over here, I can add a new project. Now, if you get my projects from my GitHub account, and I can add anyone here. But let's check out the ones I've added already. So I'll check out Payant Android. Now, this was the library I did, and as you can see, this is the issue breakdown. You can see all issues. 
Now, with each file, it gives me suggestions. Here, it's telling me about the package with uppercase characters. Here. It's telling me about scope. Yes, I should use explicit scope instead of the default private level. So this project I've kind of made it cleaner so you won't see a lot of issues. Let's check out this biometric attendance. Yep, a lot more issues here. Aerocon 92. Yes, a lot. So now you could see open anyone. Here is telling me about a, an undocumented public class. At least I should have documented it. Put the what the class does, the author, and such things. So you have different suggestions you get, and you may not see any serious warning here because I have cleaned it up and done the most important suggestions these are more of nice to do's right but you can see other things here like unsafe casts which is here it's telling me that this is an unsafe cast and you could throw an exception that's what it tells me you have unsafe call on nullable type the bang bang yep so it's telling me all this and this is really nice because I get an overview and better code quality so with every commit it will show me the issues on how I are fixing them as you can see the first seven new at one commit at the point I had 21 new issues. Wow. So that's that. And you have code patterns. They can use to adhere to coding standard. What I'm doing here is just an overview. You can come and look at it in detail. Codacy.com. You even have duplication of code, complex files, coverage. So head on to Codacy and check it out.